the very first woman ever to be accepted on their training course. First Tuesday went with her as she entered a world where all the ground rules are laid by men. It's a rough world for any woman, but one you've got to take on if, like Sarah Skelton, you want desperately to be a firefighter. Nature says that males are different to females, and we're trying to make them the same. He cannot do it, it's impossible. I don't think the uh, problems will be on the fire ground. I think the biggest problems will be when they're on station. Because you sat around and men and men and, <laughs> you know. A common subject you talk about sometimes is sex. You do get around to talking about it. And will you, if there's a woman there, will you, will it curb you? And you know, don't know, talk differently. What got me interested in the first place was I watched the pilot film for London's Burning and uh, there was an article in the TV Times about two London firewomen and how they got in. So until then I didn't know it was an equal opportunities and that's what really interested me in the first place. How much are you know on the way? She was always a, a, a doer. She always wanted to be doing something, you know, like climbing. We had some steps at the house when she was a small girl, and she always wanted to climb the steps, no matter how much I tried to stop her. She wanted to go up those steps and climb and look bummy, mm -hmm. that type of thing. So she's always been a bit of a daredevil and a doer, you know. She... I think she's going into this with a very practical point of view and she knows all the things that's required um, and it's um, I think she's all the training she's doing before and she's getting herself physically fit so she knows what she's going to expect when it happens. Would you say you're very proud of her? Oh absolutely. Very much so. 38. Right. Right. Well I'm going to have Thirty-three. Great. Skeleton. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. When I tell the women I'm going to be a five, it's oh great! You, you know you're pushing it for women. You, you know crossing the threshold as it were. But the men tend to take the mickey a lot. You know it seems like oh you're the one who stand on top top of the fire engine with a bell, or uh, a bloke who runs a shop near us. He's nicknamed me Red Adair. Um, I walk past some of the, uh, there's a local up there and sometimes when I go up there, I walk into the room and they start making, you know, like siren noises, nah, 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 as I walk in and daft things like that, but, uh, I once told a man, he said, somebody is saying, oh, she's going into a very odd profession, she says she's a woman, he says, what's that? So I said, oh, I'm going to sleep for ten men a night, and he says, oh, you're a prostitute, I said, no, I'm a fireman. <laughs> There's a pressure on you to um, try twice as hard and to prove yourself and try and, not as a competition, but try and beat the lads, try and be as good as they are. Because yeah. otherwise it's, oh, yeah, it's a woman, you know. OK. Have a one now. 45 seconds. It's a good career. It's good pay. And it's the physical challenge as well. It's not a nine to five job. It's too much of a dangerous job in some aspects to be doing on a principle. But it is, in a way, it is a step forward for womankind. It was 
funny when I first arrived because uh, I walked in the doors and you could see all the apprehension on the lad's face as well. <gasps> What's this? You know, female? How dare they? Is she with us? Would you all like to make your way into the hall? Take a seat, please. Good morning to you all. The recruits firefighter course is academically and physically very strenuous. You will, I know, suffer over this period. Your bodies will ache and your brains will hurt. But at the end of the day, you will be elated with the achievements that you will have reached. You will on regular occasions see a lot of me. But what I do hope is that you don't see me in my office on official or disciplinary matters. You will be dealing with members of the public in that the public will often be in some sort of distress because their property is being destroyed by fire or because they are trapped or injured or because their loved ones are injured or trapped or were still dead. The death side of the fire service is usually quite horrific. I would hope you've thought about that. But obviously, you don't know how you're going to cope with it until you come up against it. But I have, I've done a first aid course and I've had to go to quite a few accidents and things and I've coped pretty well. And I've had to deal with our eight relatives and people who have been in distress. So I shouldn't be too bad. I'll give my best shot. In situations where children are trapped in a car, a female will probably calm them down a lot quicker than a man, because sometimes a man can be in a big yellow helmet and a black jacket can be a bit frightening, but if they hear a woman's soothing voice, then obviously they'll probably calm down a lot quicker. How's that? Not too slow, just bend over, see if it falls down. Really bend, you know, don't it? It's not so much, OK? I like wearing a uniform. It's smart and it's. I find myself disciplined. It looks smart and you feel good when you're wearing a uniform. It's just being a part of something, being proud that you are a part of something. It's right across the shoulder, isn't it? It's right on the length. Stand up straight. They may be a little embarrassed, I think. Just a little. More than me, I wouldn't be embarrassed. <laughs> How's that? Uh, how do they feel across the way? Yes. Right. All right. right in the line. Richard, bit tight around the seat. If you are not prepared to give your full effort, cooperation, and enthusiasm, get up now and leave. I presume that no one has moved, that you are all prepared for that commitment. I think the answer should be yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We will know which one of you are going to complete this course by the third or fourth week. However, if you are still here on the fifth week, don't sit back and say, that's it, I've made it. Because if necessary, I will recommend your service is terminated on the 14th week of this course. I am putting you in the starting blocks. And when I leave this room, you will be up and you will be running. We are not too concerned about who gets to the finish line first. Only that you all get there.
It wasn't the high, the high didn't bother me. It was a way that when I got to the top, the turntable ladder was swaying like that from like that side to side. And every time you moved, you were like bouncing up and down. That, that was a bit scary. Have you found it? Yeah. yeah. Go down with your left foot. Into this step, that leap. Right foot. No, step down with your right foot now. There's another step underneath, that's it. Feel for the edge of the shaft now and lower yourself down. Nice and steady. There's a foothold underneath the foot. When you get down to the bottom of the sewer shaft, pick the guideline up and proceed down the sewer pipe to where the leading fireman will pick you up. Stay on your hands and knees, keep a line in your hand and move forward. You got it? Mm. Right, now come into the pipe. The staff at the training centre are well versed in uh, recruit training and with the attitude of she's a recruit, the same as the rest of the people on the course, I can't see any problems at all. That's it, lift the mask off. Very good, there's your homie. Did you feel alright? Yeah. Good. It wouldn't have been fair to Firefighter Skelton if we'd have made any special arrangements for her. As far as we're concerned, she's here to do exactly the same as all the other recruits on this course. On the right, number! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, Have a nice five minute warm up, loosen up and stretch before we start as exercises. Anybody else with watches on? Jewelry, rings, necklaces, earrings. Come on. 
more lap. Come on. Come on, it's only one to go. Let's have you back in there for a shower. Come back, come back. Come back. You're late now, you're having a good time with the rest of it. I don't feel too bad now. It was just when I was doing it. I had to keep going and keep going. And keep going. Well, me and John. You know, the big lad, we're both in the army and that. You just get used to helping people, you know. I mean, you sure we're going to struggle and that, so a year and then it's not on, you know? So anyway, you learn, don't you? We just felt that like that was the best thing to do in helping her along if there, were, if there were a few difficulties, but obviously that's not the way, as we're verbally castrated for it. In crew of four from the right, seven, one, two, three, four, 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 one, Sarah will improve, she will improve, yeah, without a doubt. The thing about it is that although she felt like stopping, it didn't take much coaxing to keep her going. So if she's got, let's say, the guts to keep going after doing all the exercises that they've done here, then she should be able to do the drills that we're going to ask her to do outside. What she's done here with the uh, upper body tests, that is going to be the main problem for her because obviously running the holes out, the ladders, it's all upper body work, strength work. And that's, that's probably what is gonna be a problem, if anything. If it is a training school officer, you will salute him once during the day. If you see him, you have got your cap on, he has got his cap on, you will salute him. If you have not got your cap on, and he has got his cap on, you will stand to attention, say, good morning, sir. When I said that marching is like walking, I didn't mean it was a walk. It is smart walking. Not this. Okay, thumb on top of your fist, arms straight, waist belt high. Listen, squad will move to the left in threes. Left, turn, one. Two, three, one. It's better. By the left. Quick march. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Get the step. Listen to me. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Watch your dressing. Close up. Left, right. Squad. Halt. One. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. One crew, four, three. Come on. One crew, come on. One, two, three, four, five. One crew. Back. One crew, number. One, two, three, four, five. One crew, change round. Crew number one, two, three, four, five. Very good. How was that? Oh, all right. That was British yesterday. <laughs> what was the problem yesterday? What, we weren't here. What was it like? It was, it was the keeping up, the stamina. Because we had to do like a snake. Grand in a circle. But all the hoses detached. And it was just to keep it up because I was always on the end. Is it very awkward handling those? Yeah, because it's a bending down and rolling them up. Yeah. And what about the rest of it? How's it all going? Oh, it was great, the rest of it. Yeah. I had a run this morning. I actually completed it this time. So you feel quite encouraged, generally, yeah. not demoralised? Yeah. Good. You better hurry and get changed. Yeah. <laughs> We 
we had a visit, which was rather strange, because they said there was, a, there was an officer that came to our house to say that, did we think Sarah was the, uh, would be suitable, any woman would be suitable. He didn't like to think a daughter of his would be on, like, be on the fire service. Uh, having to sleep in the same dormitories as men, etc., and suggested that they may be, um, he was a bit frightened of some form of assault or something like that, which I told him at the time that if they, they, I wouldn't think that the men would have done such a thing like that, and if they did, there was certainly a law against that particular area. Um, it, it was a very strange conversation indeed. And then the next day this, this happened, the, the, um, the verbal warning happened, and coupling the two together, I was very suspicious at that time. Paul Skelton was brought in and counselled with regards to the lack of upper body strength. And uh, we stated that every attempt would be made for her to gain some further strength in that part of her body. And indeed, we gave her a week to see amount of improvement and subject to the reports of the instructors over this week. Uh, we will then see whether or not an improvement has been made. She said to me, Dad, I'm going to get, I'm going to do this, whatever happens, I'm going to get this, I'm going, I want to stay, I want this job so much. I tried to uh, have a word with the Commandant, and he advised me that I had to get stronger, obviously, because I was a liability to the other crew members, and obviously when I got onto station, if I wasn't capable of doing the job, then I was a risk. So I did what he told me. I'm all right now. Well done. At the moment, Fireman Skelton has uh, encountered difficulties regarding her strength. Only in her strength, that's the only problem she has had. She's well aware of it, and she has been doing extra physical training to try and compensate for it. So particularly for her today, it's going to be a big event in her first four weeks. What they do today will either help them or hinder them for the rest of the course. Right, 
yourself up on tip sill, then you're standing still down to the ladder. actually get off ladder, lean into it. Well then push off that, the way, that hand round on there. Pull down, come on, down one or two. Get up a double. Right, up a double. Right now, where you go. Left hand, left foot, right hand, right foot. Come on. Keep it lean into the ladder. That's it, lean in. Left hand, left foot, right hand, right foot. Come on, keep going. The attitudes of the trainers varied. Quite a few of them were very supportive, but obviously there was quite a few actually had lack of confidence in my abilities, which seemed to tell on me after a bit, because if you tell somebody enough that you're not good enough, then you start believing it yourself. Generally, very pleased with the majority. Three of them are struggling, technique and strength-wise. Some did well, some did bad. Having used all the strength on the first carry down, she did not have enough strength on the second one to climb onto the sill. But as I said previously, we're working on the strength, so hopefully that will get better. We have uh, arranged for her on nightly or on each occasion at night to take extra training within the gymnasium. Obviously, this offer would be open to anybody who we felt needed assistance to get through the course. Indeed, we, during this week, will be having extra tuition for recruits on the academic side of the course, hydraulics and electricity, for example. It's not really special help. Um, the instructors do it for everybody. If they have a problem, like some of the lads might have a clerical on the theory side of it, to stay behind, explain what the what they're not quite grasping, they'll explain it to them. Uh, with me, it was the opposite. It was strength with me, so they stayed behind and helped me lift some weights. We had a practical test examination, and I actually came eleventh in twenty-six of us, which means I beat more than half of the lads at the practical. That didn't seem to go towards my favour any, because they, they didn't retract the verbal warning. Why do you object to females coming into the fire service? I don't necessarily object. I'm just trying to point <laughs> out a difference. Yeah, but you have to bend you, the rules you, for them. That's all oh, right. That's we're one not objection. bending. What rules are we bending? Bending the rules at all. Oh, making well, separate rules for them. You. For no, us, no, we're not no, making separate rules. rules. No. Okay, they can get married, but there's a new structure yeah. now. They can have maternity leave, and times are changing. They're even going to bring in paternity leave. You know, I think you're a bit frightened of what females are going to do when they come in, and they ain't going to be any different because 
West Yorkshire, the one that's in West Yorkshire, is doing very well. The one we've got at training school just now is doing quite well. In London, they're turning out to bigger jobs than we're ever likely to turn out here. When meeting started, he said that she was doing very well. And uh, just a moment ago, I said that I'm on about the latest recruit on this course, that she was doing quite well. about the West Yorkshire one we said very well. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, ob obviously, rumours that come back from training school, we have been the first what woman... What rumours have you heard, then? ..that uh, she's not quite up to scratch. Well, she's and, failed... And, and the instructors are treating her differently to some of the... Uh, yeah. ..to the men on the course. Not been a bit yeah, well, lenient towards her. Can yeah. I answer that, Paul? She's taken two assessments. The first written one she's done quite well on. She's passed a practical assessment. But there's also other people on that course that might oh. be struggling. Oh, but I yeah. don't hear yeah. rumours coming round stations about the other people that might be well, struggling. Well, obviously not, but I, I mean, fair enough, other people can will struggle. We assure you, we've been down but... there. We've been down <laughs> there, not to look at her specifically, but we've been asked, and, and she's doing all right. I think basically it could be a lack of stamina comparatively to the to the guys. Or it could have been perhaps a little lack of confidence in the set that she was panting and she was, felt she didn't get enough air from the, from the set. However, the set will supply her. Have you seen your cylinder off? That one, gloves on. Have you seen your cylinder off? Off all together. Exhaust the air. Helmet on, gloves on. Come on, helmet's back on if you've done. Right, come on, let's go. I pointed out to Farmer Skelton her failings in her physical performance, and I have effectively issued her with a formal written warning that she must improve her performance by the week next Friday. It's part of the procedure. She received a verbal warning. The improvement was insufficient to withdraw the verbal warning, so I've had to go through the necessary procedure of actually issuing a written warning. Uh, the next stage is somewhat more uh, drastic. Right, 
Right, have you seen how it's done? Yes, that's the first one you've done. Another four to do. What's that? So in there. Don't bang it. Come on, get under. Get on your belly. The thing that frightened me was they seemed to get paranoid about my strength, which made me paranoid about my strength. Come on! Come on, get down! You know, if I picked up a length of hose and then didn't lift it right, if I fell over something, if uh, one of the others had fell over with this length of hose, they would have had space to make that mistake, whereas I was being spotlighted because of my strength. And I became so paranoid that I was frightened of doing things, because if I did fail to do them, that would be it, I was out. Can you breathe? Are you getting any air through there at all? Yes. You're not smiling, Fireman Charles, are you? Good. Whose whistle's going? Whose whistle's going? I picked up a canister wrong, and uh, I must have dislodged my back or something. It hurts like hell. Well, Fireman safe. let's have your helmet on. Anybody any problems? Anybody injured? Your back. Is it still sore? We'll do an accident report for him. Anybody else? No? When you fall out, away you go. Shower. Get changed. There's no parade for you tonight. Hey, sweetheart. Are you ready for your tea? Are you hungry? ready. I've only got to get it out of the oven. Or would you rather have a cup of tea first? Can I have a cup of tea? Yes, you certainly can. I'm tired. You're tired? Well, you know what I said the other night. Early to bed. No, I've been working hard. <laughs> it's the spaghetti, what you like. And I've got your telehealth for afters. I'm thirsty, Mother. What else? I've been skin as this saline solution. It's foul. Oh, oh saline solution. It's like. It's like. It's like. Mm -mm. I shouldn't think about it while you're having your tea. Lime. Yucky. Oh, my God, I need tea. Mm -hmm. There you go, your favourite spaghetti. Oh, what a mess that's made. Oh, it's so greasy. So you've had a hard day? We had this, like, assault course. And I was struggling as usual. And Chris Shepard helped me out. He got hold of me canister and sort of, like, picked it up and slung it over for me. He says, come on, get through. Mm -hmm. So, we're all right after that. And then Ella Fall That's going to go cold if you don't eat it. No, I'll be right. But Ella Fall no shouts, come on, don't quit on me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to, are you? No. Mind you, two times, Taylor says to me, do you want to stop? Do you want to give up? Do you want to stop? And I, I nearly said, yeah, yes, please. <laughs> let me, me go and sit down for half an hour, be on half an hour. Been your ways of making a living. Mm. <laughs> Which station officer? So you're going into the left, yeah. over to the right. When you get to that portion of the building, you search all that part, down the other staircase and up to the fire. So that's the upper part and the lower ground, right? So you, and you come out the same way, OK? You know what you're looking for? In there, turn right, that way, that way. All right, come on, quick as you can. Where you go? All right, Andre. Yeah. 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 Ye
You know, you're going to just expend the last little bit of energy, what might get your heart, try and get a casualty out, and you're going to become casualties yourself. So it's a question of somebody's got to make the decision to come out, which is you, the team leader. But in this case, I'll make decisions for you. Because of me, we didn't get a casualty out, so. I'm not that pleased with myself at the moment. No. It's hot in there. It's burning me ears. I thought as we were doing it, but we're stronger than me. <laughs> we. It matters in relation to the fact that, yes, because she didn't complete the task or was physically unable to complete the task, yes. Because obviously the other two were able to get there. So, in relationship, we would say that she let the sign down. They, they do take some punishment this day. This is what it's all geared to do, to let them know just how much they can take. And they do have to work hard. So, who knows, after arrest, she'll be given every opportunity to prove that she can do it. If we have to, we're going to try my damn darties, try and get through this time. Whichever way I have to do it, if I have to sort of crawl on my belly to get through all the way. Oh. Should be all right. Sit down, please. It will be obvious to you all that there are only 25 of you sat in here. And there's an empty desk where Fireman and Skelton sat. It's my painful duty to tell you that we've had to terminate Fireman and Skelton's service with the brigade. We are disappointed. I know Fireman and Skelton is. We are aware, through past experience, that when we've had to lose somebody's service, it affects the morale of the course, not just to the students, but the instructors. You may be upset, you may not. What you have to do now is put it behind you, it's gone. You have to look towards yourselves, and from Monday, come up to the high level of morale we expect within this course. I'm not being male show or anything, but she's never had the strength, the strength of a man. And uh, if, if she's if she's wanting to do a man's job, well, therefore, she should be up to the same sort of state as the blokes, in my eyes. At the beginning of the course, I thought, well, you know, there's no way she's going to get to this far, even. But she'd come on leaps and bounds, but it was just down to purely physical strength-wise. Yeah. Would yeah. you say you got on with her while she was here? Yeah, I did that, I say. Yeah. We didn't have showers together, but, I mean, <laughs> you know... You tried, though, Johnny. I did try, <laughs> At the beginning, I was determined to get back in, just purely on the basis to show them that I could do it, because I was so angry. In fact, that day, that day, because I was so angry and the, the adrenaline was pumping, I think I could have picked up a ladder just with one finger or carry somebody down a ladder just because I was so angry. But uh, and I was determined to get back in just purely for the reasons that, oh, sure, then, I can do it. But now I want to go back in because I like the job. And that's why I think I was so devastated, because it was a... I loved the job, that was it. And when, when I was told I was out, I, I felt as if I'd had a close relative taken away from it. With them saying that I, I liked upper body strength, to an extent, yes, I did, at the time, for the things they wanted me to do, like the carry down. Because it, it takes a lot of strength to carry somebody down the ladder. So, yes, I did lack it then. But given time to build up, I could have got it. I'm sure that... That uh, with the strength, with the physical uh, strength, it should be good enough.
to to be on the firefighting. You don't want somebody superhuman, but I think that's what they're trying to aim at. And I think the eyes of the commandant and the fire service in general of the South Yorkshire was directed upon Sarah. Uh, she was in the limelight all the time. And uh, very sad about it, really. Very sad. Well, I have no greater obligation towards uh, Miss Scott than I had for many other recruits in the past who have equally failed to make the grade of the training course. Um, I'm afraid that she is another one that has failed. We have to be seen to be fair to all, not just the females and the ethnic groups. We were open to criticism, possibly, by the Caucasian community, that's the whites, but indeed we were given priority to other groups. the male recruits passed. Only Sarah didn't make it. But other women have become firefighters, a number of them in London, where they do something which might have been useful in Sarah's case. They don't pretend that women are just like men. They run a pre-entry training course so that prospective female recruits can build up their strength and their confidence. Sarah applied again for South Yorkshire and West Yorkshire fire brigades, but she wasn't accepted. She's now applying for the RAF and for other uniformed services. And we'll be back on the parade ground in April. Until then, good night. <laughs>